Is that a video of me? <laughs> oh, no, I have my glasses. <laughs> you look great. Good evening. It's uh, 6.03. I'll open up the Dudley Conservation Commission meeting for May 4th, 2022. Um, members present? Nancy Vakovic. George Slingo. Rand Mikulajczyk. Bob Tuttle. First is a notice of intent for 13 Sunrise Shore, Daniel O'Connor. Please come up. Dan O'Connor, 13 Sunrise Shore, Drive, Dudley, Mass. And I'm here before you tonight to um, have you review and hopefully approve plans for a patio, uh, a walkway connected to a second patio in my uh, yard. Thank you. The, uh, the project is going to be uh, completed by Matthew Rayla. <laughs> and Matthew was going to be with me this evening, but he's been exposed to COVID. And he's available, uh, but uh, not in here. Are you going to use any machinery next to the water? Um, well, th there are some ro uh, large rocks that will be maneuvered down to the shore by a bobcat. So no mortar will be used. Um, the uh, the patio should remain somewhat pervious. Um, yep. Everything will be sloped to uh, pervious areas. This is a flat land. Area. And it's a very flat lot. It's a very flat lot. You want to make sure no equipment goes in. Seems kind of good. Right. Other than to put up a, yeah, you know, you know, something. Yeah, there's. Matt, have you reviewed this? <laughs> Show me that before you build it. Yeah. yeah. Matt. Matt. Matt fell asleep. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, George. The, the the lot the lot's flat. It's there's no trees that are going to need to be really removed or anything like that. Um, <laughs> it, it's all grass. It looks it stands in order. Should cover that quite well. Okay. Are there any abutters present? Any questions from the board? Other than to put up the hay, you know, the either the, the wattles or something down by the water so that we'll, if, we'll if be, it disturbs any of the soil, nothing gets washed into the pond. We'll, we'll be putting up the um, the round hay socks along with uh, silt pits. Right. Yeah, those should work well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when you're planting the grass, until the grass is planted and you know fully and starts to grow up, make sure that the wattles stay in place. Yes. Okay. Because nope. it because it will. I mean, even though it's flat, if we get the kind of rains we've had, it's been, and it could just wash all that seed into the water, and that's what causes a lot of the weeds, which we don't have. Right. We'll definitely do that. <coughs> okay. Seeing. <coughs> You opening the no public more questions. Hearing? Um, we'll close the public hearing at 6.08. Someone would like to make a motion. I make a motion that we uh, order a standard order of conditions for 13 Sunrise Shores, Daniel O'Connor, for construction of a patio 
grass reseeding and plantings. Second. A motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you, Danny. Have a nice night. Nice. Matt's a busy boy. Just on the farm. <laughs> He's doing my work. Oh, he is? I'm just doing a little dry well in front of the pool shed. Next is a uh, notice of intent 160 Pierpont Road, Gail Martin. Then give us the give us. Give us the other ones over here so that you've got something a little closer to look at. Thank you. State your name for the record. Yeah. Oh, by the speaker, please. You gotta be. Able, you gotta be able to hear you. Thank you. I thought I spoke loud enough. <laughs> Good evening, my name is Stephen Balsevich. I work for BC Engineering and Survey Incorporated. Uh, I am here representing Ms. Gail Martin regarding 160 Pier Point, Pier Point Road. <coughs> there is an existing retaining wall along the water's edge on the easterly side of the property, which is here. The wetland has been delineated. Uh, the wall is in, has failed. Uh, the caps have fallen into the water. In some places, some of the wall has pushed into the water. What we're proposing to do is remove and replace this section of wall to here. Uh, the wetland falls alongside the retaining wall on this plan in magenta. I show the 50-foot buffer and the 100-foot buffer. Uh, I guess previously this board has given our permission to remove three trees, which I show on here. What we're proposing to do is put a environmental boom in the water, as shown in yellow, remove and replace the retaining wall uh, to its same location and same elevation. Uh, I show a construction entrance here in this hatched area. I show a stockpile area right here. And I also show a spill kit located behind the patio and screened in porch. Uh, once this work is done, obviously, they would grade to the wall, loam and seed it. If the board has any questions at this point in time, I'd be glad to entertain them. Does any of the board members have any questions? Why did the old wall fail? What happened? Uh, probably age. Just old? Yeah. And last winter. Was it was it was, was it ice? Is, it, is there ice under it in the winter time, or is it is it? Do they let that water down in that pond? When I was there, the water was up to the wall, and I couldn't see what was there. Obviously, that would have to be something that's addressed on site once they excavate it. What are you using to replace the wall? Yeah. Uh, some sort of like a ready rock block. There's a detail on page two showing a typical precast ball system with tie backs, even though this wall isn't very high. You can see I call the elevation, E meaning existing, and P meaning proposed. 
total. The wall is approximately a foot and a half, two feet high at most. Uh, Hayden Pond doesn't have a flood elevation. Really? Yeah. You look on the FEMA maps, and you can see we noted here that our 3322 water, water elevation was 5241. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 100 year flood, no base flood elevation. Based on the maps we looked at online, FEMA. Oh. Um, you're talking about like a preformed stone that you buy at yeah. Mossy's right now? What's, is, is that what's there now? Uh, what's there now, I believe, is uh, their capstones, they're granite slabs on the top, right? What are they on the top? I think it's poured concrete how about the wall itself it's my understanding we didn't own the house at the time but the man that was my understanding the man that was Russell Cassiteri I don't know if you know him um, can we get a speaker please come to the microphone speak, speak up to the mic this is Mrs. Martin so my understanding was Russell Cassiteri um, was the two owners back from us but he lived a little bit further up. He used forms, um, like old doors, and used those as forms. I mean, this is back in the, I would say probably the 50s. Um, so it's poor concrete? I, yes. Okay. He made his own kind of form. Yeah. I couldn't get to the edge of the water because it's so bad. I didn't want to fall in and- If and we replace it with this, Preform concrete wall. What's the age of it that you predict that it's going to last? Uh, basically, it's probably I mean, you got the water beating on, you got ice, you got this. Is it going to last two years or fifteen years? Uh, if you look this, up this in five years, or if you look up Ready Rock Block or Versa Lock Block walls, they have blocks that are made for wet conditions, wave action. They're pre-engineered depending on the height, and provided you install them according to their manufacturer's standards, you should be all set. The detail shown on page two is a typical precast wall with tiebacks at various elevations, but this wall is nowhere near what I'm showing in that plan. It probably have maybe one at the top, if that. There's, there's no mortar in this block at all no so you, they're like Legos yeah they even walk together and they yeah they have uh, <clears throat> some of them have round nipples on the Are top they plastic pins that you're using or in between them I think yeah. gravity holds them in place and so they, they have lip lips back. they have like a yep. a keyway yep. in it And it's only going to be a foot and a half, two feet tall. Yeah, we're going to remove it, replace it, same location, same elevation. Oh, and the so other thing I forgot to mention. So it's shown almost two blocks below grade. Correct? On your plan here, you're showing two blocks below oh, grade. That's a, that's a typical detail. Right. Yeah, okay. so that's... The other thing I wanted to mention is in this area here, there's erosion taking place. There was some sort of riprap embankment, and some of the stones, I guess, due to ice and wave action, have rolled down. What we'd like to do in this area is replace, pull the stones up out of the water, and then replace it with a little couple of heavier stones in order to uh, prevent any erosion, because it's starting to undermine a little bit. Any more questions from the board? <clears throat> Are there any abutters present? No. Matt, do you have any questions? Okay, so I looked at the uh, site, I looked at the plans, and yeah, the wall detail for the particular blocks that are being used, I've actually seen those used with other clients that I've had for 
retaining walls, and they actually work quite well. Um, the thing will probably outlast any of us. Um, <laughs> don't have any issues with it, other than the fact that DEP hasn't weighed in on a number yet. In fact, just to let the engineer know, I don't even see it on their database yet. So I know they've been a little bit slower lately with the numbers. I, I think they've basically been overwhelmed with filings. So, um, we may want to hold off on approval until we see what the EP says. With respect to the floodplain, uh, I agree with the engineer's contention. There's no real elevation. There is an overlay, but what I can see from the overlay, it basically shows it going up to the shoreline. And they're working at the shoreline, not in the water. So I don't see an impact of the floodplain. I'm not really concerned with that, but DEP can have some funny comments about walls, even replacements at times. So I'd rather wait to hear what they, if they have any comments. I don't think there'd be anything that may change the project, but I just want to be obviously on the safe side because we don't have a number yet. Okay. I just want one quick. Does, he, does Matt know if there's going to be water against us during the winter time? I mean, is that is the water up against these blocks in the winter time or not? Because does Pier Point let down? Does anybody know that? No, it's not let down. It's not let down. So it's no. going to have water right up to these blocks during the winter time. It's it's a meadow, so it it does go up and down, but they don't actually let it down. Does that make sense? Okay. Well, my my concern is not no, they, they don't, don't do a drop down or, or concrete. That water can get into the blocks and push up. That's my concern. I mean, I've dealt with that before. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering how you're going to address that. So we're not looking at this two years from now. A lot of these walls are free floating, so yes, they will move up, but then in the spring when the ice goes away, they'll move back down. But if you've got the, the back lock on it, just grabbing, holding in place, and the frost heaves it, and then it thaws, what, what's going to keep it from coming forward? Because there's a Unlocked. keyway. There's a keyway in it, yeah. and some of them, I've seen them all different configurations where it's a block maybe uh, two feet wide by four feet long, and there's a dimple yep. on the bottom block, and the next block up has a concave area that fits in there, yeah. and there, so you got quite two, a bit three of inches, feet. yeah, there's two three inches of, of leeway, so the yeah. the blocks float. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you let the water down, that's that's dry all winter, you know, right? With the water up against it, it's going to want to. I've seen ice move stuff mm -hmm. incredibly. You live on a pond, you know that, right? So, so I don't. That's my only concern. I just, I'll leave it. And even water. I mean, even the water in the summer. Last summer, ice, the water ice is the one. Though. Ice is amazing. What it can do. So. I do a lot of these walls on Webster Lake. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, and uh, up, up against it all winter. And the ice is can be anywhere in the lake, and in the deep freeze in January, February, all the walls have ice on them. Yeah, they stayed pretty good. All right, well, Steve, would you like to make um, a, an offer to continue this till we get a DP number? Definitely, you couldn't close it anyway, right? Right. Yeah, we'll continue it to the next meeting, and based on what I see on DEP's comments, if there are none, do I have to show up at the next meeting, or? If there is none, you do not have to show up for the next meeting. All right, I'll be in discussion with your agent uh, okay it's Matt Morrow Matt Morrow all right so someone like to make a request so to continue we're continue the, we're gonna continue the public hearing I make a motion we continue the public hearing for no, notice of intent for the road 60 Pier Pont Road here on Market for uh, replacing an existing failed retaining wall second Motion's been made and seconded to continue the public hearing for 160 Pierpont Road. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Today the third? The fourth.
side there. Uh, yeah. I used to leave my hose. That's my control. You can't stand water. Water. Yeah. 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 Okay, next on the agenda is uh, emergency certificate for 31 Dresser Hill Road, Marlene Pfeiffer. Peeler. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lodge Beaver Dam causing water to rise and destroy farmland and water flooding the access road for the property. Matt, what's your recommendation on this? Um, my recommendation would be that you ratify it. Okay. To let them, to let them remove the beaver dam? Yes. Who's gonna remove it? Who's gonna remove the dam? Um, it's on the form. Um, it's Michael trapping the beaver and Reaching the beaver Michael dam. Blank. Yes, and they got the the uh, emergency ten day permit from the Board of Health. So it's not attached in there. Okay. Which form is it on? Okay. Which form is that on? Is which? Oh, um, his file. Oh, George you're on. Oh, you're on. <laughs> I don't have that. Excuse me. <coughs> okay. 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 Someone wanted to make a motion to uh, ratify the emergency certificate. I make a motion we. Ratify the emergency certificate for 31 Dresser Hill Road, Marlene Peeler, for the removal of a beaver dam. Second. A motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. So it's not a continuance, it's just the issue is with the ratification. Right. Okay, next on the agenda is approval of the April 13th, 2022 minute meeting minutes. Anybody? I read them. I make a motion that we approve them as presented. A second. A motion's been made and seconded to approve the meeting minutes for April 13th, 2022. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. extension of a permit of the order conditions for Baker Pond for Solitude Lake Management. I make a motion that we grant the extension of the order of conditions for Baker Pond. A second. A motion has been made and seconded to approve the extension for the permit of the order conditions. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. I make a motion we adjourn at 627. There's a motion second. to adjourn. Yeah, motion's been made and seconded to adjourn at 622nd. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you.